Hello friends, I am Dr. Arias, Assistant Professor in Civil Department, Sandipani Clinic Campus, Lucky. Today's topic is Analysis of Suspension Cable Supported at Different Level, Subjected to UDI. Learning Outcomes After this watching the video, student will be able to understand the concept of support at different level and also student will be able to calculate support reaction of a suspension cable supported at different level. Now, we draw here the diagram of the suspension cable having the support at different level. So this is the cable, support A, this is the support B and this is the lowest point on the cable is the C. And this is subjected to the UDL. Now, at the support A, we know there is one horizontal reaction and one is the vertical reaction. Also, here, here is one vertical reaction and one the horizontal reaction. This C, suppose this depth, depth of this support point C, this lowest point from the A support is the support is the H1. Depth of the point C from the support A is the H1 and depth of this C from the support B is the H2. And this point C is having the distance L1 from the support A and same having the C point from the B is the L2. Now, next is the calculation of the reactions. So, now consider a small portion. Consider the portion AC. We are considering the portion only the AC. So, now we are drawing with the separate drawing for the AC is like this. Now suppose this is the reaction H, this is the reaction BA. Now here the tension in the cable at support A is the TA. And we know this depth is the H1. Now span is what? Span is the distance between the two support at the same level. So, we have to increase this R up to the this level so that this support A, this support A and here this A dash will be at the same level. If you draw here the one dot line. So, this e total is called as the span. This total is called as the span different between the support at the same level. So, here we increase the R here like this. We know this distance is the L1. So, also this distance will be the L1. This distance will be also the L1. So, now here this is subjected to the UDL. This is subjected to the UDL. This also the UDL that is the W kilonewton per meter. Here also the W kilonewton per meter. So directly we can say that here the VA is equal to this support reaction VA vertical 
is subjected to only this A to C part. So V A is equal to this W into the L. W into the L1. We know here the horizontal reaction H when this support at the same level means A and the A dash. So H is equal to W L square by the A dash. When the support at the same level. Support at the same level. So here we have to put the value of this L and the ATH here or in the H. Here we know this L is equal to L is a total span from this A to A dash. That is what L1 plus the L1. L1 plus the L1. So this becomes the twice L1. Now here there this depth is the H. So this H is to be replaced by the H1. So this becomes now, this becomes now the EH is equal to W twice L1 square divided by 8H1 is equal to, this becomes W4 L1 square divided by 8H1 is equal to this 4 into 2 this becomes W L1 square divided by the twice H1. For the when you consider the portion AC in that case this H is equal to the W L1 square divided by the twice H1. And the this tension in the cable TA that we know tension in the cable TA is equal to under root the VA square plus the H square. So that is equal to under root we know VA is equal to the what W into L1 bracket square plus H is equal to is a W L1 by the twice H1 and this total square square. So this is the tension in the cable at A is equal to uh, under root W L1 bracket square plus W L1 is square divided by twice H1 is total bracket square. Then next we consider here the portion this is C to B portion C to B. For the portion this AC we got here VA is equal to the W into L1 and the H is equal to the W L1 square divided by the twice H1. Now we are considering the remaining portion that is the consider the portion CB. Now suppose C. this is C point C and is here. This is the point B. Here this reaction is the H. This reaction is the BB. And this is subjected to the UDL. W kilonewton per meter. We know this length is the L2 and this height is the H2. And this point is the C. Now again, here we extend this arc so that this B and B dash at the same level. So this is the arc. So again this becomes the L2 and this is called as the span. This is called as the span. 
so here directly we can say that here vb is equal to this reaction is only for the portion is c to b directly we can say that is w into the l2 so we got here the reactions vb then we have to calculate the h again this h and the this h is the same because here now here is a one horizontal reaction is towards the left and one horizontal reaction towards the right so this h and this h is the same so horizontal reaction at a and horizontal reaction at b is the same now again we calculate here the h that we know w l square by a t h for the support at the same level support at same level now here what this l is equal to this l is it is total is called as l so l l2 plus the l2 what is the span that is the distance between the two support at the same level span is what distance between two support at the same level that is our span so here this span becomes l2 plus l2 and this h is become the h2 so this becomes the twice h2 so put this value and this value in this equation so we got here the h is equal to w twice l2 a bracket square divided by 8 into the h2 so here we got the w l2 square divided by twice h2 in this way we can see that h is equal to the w l2 square divided by twice h2 Now next part the here the tension at the B this tension T B that is equal to what here V B and the H. So the tension in the cable at support B is equal to again the here a V B square plus the H square. Now our aim is to find the L1 and the L2. So our aim is to find this value L1 and the L2. So how to find? We know support reaction at the A. The horizontal reaction at horizontal reaction at A is equal to the horizontal reaction at B. So here is both the side H is the same. So we know horizontal reaction at A is the H that is equal to the W L1 square by B twice H1 and for the at A and H is equal to W L2 square divided by the twice H2. So equate both this. So here we can say that W L1 square divided by the twice H1 is equal to W L2 square divided by the twice H2. So we can say that this W, this W get cancelled out, this 2, 2 gets cancelled out. So we got here the equation that is the L1 square divided by the H1 is equal to L2 square 
divided by the h2. So simplify this, suppose you can say that is L1 square divided by the L2 square is equal to the H point divided by the H2. So if you again modify it here, so L1 divided by L2 is equal to under root H1 divided by under root S2. So by using this equation, we can find the length the L1 and the L2. Thank you.